Hey everybody. Okay, I've got this really cute um, Thanksgiving uh, candy pouch. Really, really cute. And I'm not going to worry about sizes. Maybe a little bit, but most of it will be put on the blog below. Okay, but I will talk a little bit about it. Um, Alright, so you're going to start off with an 8.5 by um, 3.5 by 8.5 piece of chocolate chip cardstock. And then I scored it at um, three and a half and five. Three and a half and five. Three and a half and five. So you're just going to take your foam folder, crisp it down. Okay, so that is the base. Okay. And then I went and I put a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece of chocolate chip. And I ran it through the big shot using the square lattice embossing folder. And we will glue it right on there. Just like so. Okay, so then the next step was to go and get... Um, this came out of the sweater... Um, Sweet Sweater DSP, and we cut it out using the deco labels, and I used the second to the smallest deco label. Ran it through the big shot using my magnetic board. I'm going to be using some pumpkin pie, because that's the color in the DSP. I'm just going to sponge around the edge. Got that done. All right, so now let's see. Next step would be to build my um, tag on the front. So I have this strip of three quarter, actually five eighths by three and a quarter. And I'm just going to, um, what I'm doing is doing this little banner right here. You know how to do that. You cut it down the center. I've done Now this circle is out of Tangerine Tango. No, I'm sorry, Pumpkin Pie. And this was a framelit out of the circle framelits. I used it on a card earlier, but here here is the set of circle framelits. And it is the fourth circle in. And I just cut it out on the big shot using my magnetic platform. Okay, so we have that. All right, so the next step is to take and um, emboss the wheat on the top. Now, the set I used for that is Truly Grateful. It's out of the holiday. And I use this stamp right here. So let's get all that out. I'm using a Versamark pad and early espresso powder. So the first thing you want to do is take your embossing buddy and you want to go over the cardstock that you're going to emboss. Next, you're going to grab the stamp that you're going to use, ink it up. I always do it upside down because I like to see how much ink gets on that stamp. I know it's good and inked. I'm happy. Okay, I'm just going to stamp it. And you notice I'm not really caring where I'm stamping. You know why? Because I'm going to punch it out. Okay, here is my little holder. Now see that little line right there? That's because I allowed my um, stamp to wiggle off. Uh, I stamped kind of sideways. I didn't go straight up and straight down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm just going to wipe away that powder. Blow it anywhere I find it. I'm going to just... And then I always turn it over and hit it. And it's probably not going to show because I'm probably going to end up punching that out. All right, I'm going to go heat and boss it. Be right back.
Now I did this this um, little cute little bag in, in class today and everybody asked me, how do you know when the powder's done? And it's really, the powder looks very um, dry or um, it's not shiny. So the way you tell that something's been embossed and it's, and it's done, well, first of all, embossing powder is little tiny pieces of plastic. So think about that melting. So you want to make sure it turns shiny before you stop melting it. Otherwise, the powder will fall off. Okay, so then the next step, I'm going to punch this out. I'm using the one and a quarter circle punch. And I just want to, I want to grab all that wheat. And then I have two pens. Crushed curry and pumpkin pie. And I'm just going to fill in some of this wheat. Using the brush tip. Just like that. And then sponge it a little bit. Here we're going to lay it up on the pumpkin pie circle. Just like so. Making sure all your borders are even all the way around. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this. See how that's curling up? I'm going to flip it over. Press it, and I'm going to put my little banner on there. Turn over and look at it that way. Okay. We need our pearls. And I always put my pearls on with my scissors. Okay, so we got that done. We can put it now using dimensionals on our little... Um, Okay, very good. Okay, so we're back here on this piece. This is the base. And we used to sell these a long uh, a couple years ago, Crocodile, but just grab up anything that'll punch a big, pretty big hole. You want to center it up. Because that's where your ribbon's going to go. And then I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. And then it goes right in the center. Okay. Um, the tag. Tag is just a scrap piece. It's half inch, five eighths. And the color is Bermuda Bay. I just went a little shade darker on the blue. Line it up on your grid. So there's our Truly Grateful, and what I do is I just clip it close using scissors, clip it on this side, maybe leaving a quarter of an inch, and then I just come in and clip, clip an angle. Make a little tag. Take a piece of linen thread, tie a bow, just like so. Get a glue dot. Glue dot it on the end of your little tag. And then I actually used chocolate chip or espresso and just kind of took away some of that white. And then that can go on with the blue dot. And I just put it right at the bottom of the wheat. Kind of where the bow is. There's a bow on the, on the wheat stamp, so that's kind of where I decided to put it like that. And in order to get it through that little hole, I always put it together and then cut a long slender. See how I did that? A long slender point. And then I always go back and cut that. Well, that looks pretty pretty good, so maybe I won't cut it. Alright, there you go.